Well, they call themselves patriots, while others are starting to compare them to terrorists. So why would that be? An armed militia taking over a government building at an Oregon wildlife refuge. They're being helped by these ranchers, the Bundys, who have faced off against the government before. Police are keeping their distance for now. But the situation is sparking debate online over whether race is the reason for that. Many of the militiamen are white. The Washington Post writing this, quote, it is hard to imagine that none of the words mentioned above would be avoided if a group of armed black Americans took possession of a federal or state courthouse to protest the police. What do you think? Denise Borelli, chief political correspondent for the Conservative Review and a Fox News contributor. And Jessica Ehrlich is a former Democratic congressional candidate and an attorney. Welcome uh, to you both. Good morning. Um, a lot of issues here and some interesting questions raised in a couple of editorials that say that that news organizations have been so careful in terms of how they present these individuals um, and they say that they were not that careful when it came to other cases like Dylan Roof for example um, who clearly had racist intentions uh, when he crazily killed people in a Charleston church they also point to Syed Farouk and Tashfeen Malik and that they were quickly labeled uh, to be Islamic terrorists in the course of their killings in San Dino, and they claim that we are, some are handling uh, these folks with kid gloves. Deneen, what do you think? Well, nothing like the left-wing media using an opportunity to really cloud the, uh, insta the instance that's going on in Oregon to confuse people, and that's what the left-wing media does. Each instance that is referenced in the article that you mentioned are individual circumstances. And what people need to understand what's going on in Oregon, it is really an, out an overgrowth of government. Government gone wild is outreach of government. You have these individuals who are trying to save their property, save their, their, uh, their ranch, because uh, the overrun of government is not doing that. Government owns a substantial amount of property in the West, and these individuals were trying to save their property. Jessica, what do you think? Well, I, you know, I disagree that this is sort of a, something that's being pushed by, you know, the left wing media, obviously. I mean, I think this is a situation. I don't see that there are racist overtones here. Um, there are very different similar situations. I think, as Deneen said, that is accurate. However, this is never a situation that you want to have in the United States where we have the rule of law, where you have armed people who have taken over a federal building. Now, whether it's actually defined as terrorism will be up to not only the FBI and the attorney general, General, but whether you know in terms of what they'll be charged certainly the mayor in this area feels that there is political motivation and that the political motivation is that they're armed and that they want to overthrow the local government so this is not a situation that's similar to you know ones where we saw with what happened in San Bernardino or other situations they are all unique i don't think this has anything to do with you know a race situation it's people who are taking matters into their own hands in a way that is not acceptable in the United States of America. Yeah. Uh, you know, they raise a question, Deneen, of, you know, the racial tensions that we've seen in Missouri and the fact that in those situations when people are rising up in, their, in that case against the police uh, and against that government institution, that they are always referred to as being a group of black people, a group of sometimes thugs, those kind of names are used. And they say, you know, in this case, why, is, why aren't people talking about the fact that this is a group of white militiamen? Why is that distinction not made? Well, listen, what happened in Missouri is, is really outrageous because you had individuals who were very destructive. They destroyed property. They destroyed their communities. We're looking at Oregon right now. These individuals are being peaceful. Uh, they're uh, outraged about the overgrowth of government. Is government gone wild? And I tell you, it, it, we don't want to see this happen across the country, but this is an example of something that can happen because of the overgrowth of government. And Americans are tired of government intrusion in their everyday lives. Lives. And so these individuals right now are peaceful. They want to uh, rein in government gone wild. Why is it that a federal government owns 47 percent of western states in our country? In Oregon alone, the federal government owns 53 percent of the property. So you, I, it's, it's really outrageous how government is creeping into our everyday lives, no matter what it is you're doing. And people just want to be left yeah. alone. 
Uh, Jessica, they were revolting against that. You know, the, the, there was an issue with um, trying to sort of burn down some of the brush. They say that that fire went over onto federal land um, and that the sentence that was given to the person who they believe is responsible was too short. And then they changed the sentence and made it longer. Um, as an attorney, how is that even possible? Well, because there are federal sentencing laws and guidelines, which we've talked about even on this show, that are, you know, people disagree with, that we're trying to change, that the president wants to change, because those set sort of the terms of what judges can do. They have a lot less leniency because they're governed by specific rules. But we do have something in this country called the rule of law. If you're not happy with what's going on, at the federal level. That's wonderful. That's part of being an American. We can disagree all day long as to whether you think they're overreaching or not. But you don't go and take over in a non-peaceful way. I mean, these people are armed. They've said if they come, you know, they're planning on staying. They've put right. a call out to other people to join them. And that's not a peaceful demonstration. They're not even just picketing out front of a, you know, a courthouse. These are people who are actually taking over an area that is a federal office building, and that's not the way yeah. that we make change in the United States. I hear you. So I mean, it's they, wonderful they think the rule of law is rigged against them uh, in this case, and that they can't win by going through the normal right. channels. Um, this is going to be an interesting standoff, and we'll see where it goes.